Welcome back to another exciting project entitled Line and Pattern Hot Air Balloon. All right, boys and girls, now we are ready for project number two, and that's going to be our line pattern hot air balloon. And the steps for this are very easy. So same thing, you're going to need a pencil, white paper, and a Sharpie to outline, and then, of course, markers, crowns, um, whatever you have lying around the house. So here's your first step. We're going to go ahead and create our basket first. So all you need is just a square shape. Now I'm going to start off with two lines. One line is going to be here, and then my next line is going to be a little shorter, right below it, just like that. Now, you're going to go ahead and connect those two lines together, and that's going to be the basket of our hot air balloon. Now, the next step is going to be the hot air balloon, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to go to this corner here, and you will be going up, take up as much space as you can, and come on back down, and connect right on in. Now, we're going to need a little line right here to divide our basket from the hot air balloon. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick a spot and add my line in. Now, real quick, I'm going to take lots of different lines and add them to my basket. So I'm going to have straight lines just going down, some nice horizontal lines. And then I'll go ahead and put some lines going across to kind of make it look more like a basket. For our hot air balloon, you can go ahead and start adding in your patterns. But before I do that, I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to start at the center, and I'm going to draw a line going down. Same thing here, I'm going to go back to where I started and a line going down. And then I'm also going to add some lines going across too. And these lines are going to look a little bit like smiley faces, just kind of going across. This is kind of nice because you can organize all your different patterns now in lines. So. However you want to put your patterns in or your lines in, that part's totally up to you. I'll give you a few examples in a second, but I'm going to throw my background in. So I'm going to have some nice rolling hills at the bottom. I'm going to start all the way at the bottom of my paper and do a nice wavy line. And then another wavy line that changes direction. And then another wavy line. Again, kind of changes direction a little bit so they're not all the same. You can add some lines in your hills too. Maybe these lines will go this way. Again, I'll kind of change it up and have them go the opposite direction in the background. And again, you can add as many lines as you want. I did a lot of lines on this one. You know, not as many on this one. For my background, I'm going to do some swirling lines. Now, I love Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night, so I want to kind of give it that look to it. So, in my sky, I'm just going to go ahead and add in some nice kind of looping lines that swirl and really make my background very interesting. Maybe there's kind of a wind coming through that's pushing the hot air balloon. Maybe I'll even do some kind of dotted and dashed lines. And you can keep going. I'll probably stop right about there. Now the next step is the patterns in your hot air balloon. Um, Really, it's totally whatever you want. You could keep it this simple and do it maybe a color pattern like yellow, blue, yellow, yellow, blue, yellow. Um, you can add in different shapes if you want to make it a bit more interesting. Maybe I might do kind of a triangle shape down here as well. Maybe I'll do some loops in this one. 
And then maybe I could do a circle, a triangle, a circle, you know, maybe put in an X shape down here. Really just kind of change it up. So it's totally up to you for your hot air balloon part. That's for you to be creative and make yours unique. So I hope you enjoy today's project. Um, and I can't wait to see yours, so make sure you share at Miss O Art Studio, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in, and get ready to try something new next week.